Hello there, everyone. Um, so, today's the day. I'm going to transform or convert my uh, white GX light from a 2x8 to a 1x8. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you the before pictures and the after pictures, and then I'm going to tell you what I've uh, bought to make this uh, this transformation. So, that's what this video is going to be about. It's going to be about uh, me turning it from a what a two by to a one by, and me showing you what components I've bought to make that happen. Firstly, I need to wash it because it's pretty dirty. Okay, so now I have the bike washed, more or less dried off as well. And I'm just going to show you how it looks now, and uh, then we're going to have a look at what I'll be putting on it. So right now, I have the. Um, Shimano Claris a group on it I guess it's it works fine but yeah there are a number of reasons why, why I'm doing this and if you want to I can go into detail for that in a later video but we have an 11 to 28 uh, cassette in the back we have a 3450 in the front um, and yeah this is how it looks now so now let me show you what I'm going to put on it. Okay, so in these two boxes we have the things that I'm going to put on it. So firstly, let's look at this. We have the um, um, the chainring bolts right here. Uh, I don't know if they're long enough actually, but yeah, you can see. We have a 40 tooth um superstar components uh, front chain ring i don't know if 40 tooth is enough but that's this is what i'm going with right now if it's not enough then i'm going to make another purchase i have a chain this is not the most cheap version of a chain uh sorry like that um this is actually gold so uh, i hope it's going to look uh, quite quite good but yeah, that's the chain. Nine speed chain, by the way. Um, I was recommended using a nine speed chain for it. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Um, then we have this road link copy. Um, hopefully, this will work um, uh, just fine. Let's let's see. Um, yeah, a uh, master link. And in here we have. I just want to say that I just got this package this morning and it came like this so it's, it's a little bit unsettling but I'm going to try that so here we have an 11 to 48 speed cassette this is one block it's 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 quite heavy and then you might say this is not eight speed this is six speed yes there's a back let's just here we have the rest a lock ring an 11 tooth and a 13 tooth so these are the components a cassette chain ring bolts a road link copy thing an iron speed chain and a 40 tooth front chain ring so that's what i'm going to put on it now I'm going to do it and I'm going to show you how it looks. Yes, so uh, now it has been uh, stripped of the uh, chain rings, the cassette and all that. Um, you can see here, the cassette is there. Every other thing is there. Um, one thing that I haven't actually taken off is this um, outer cable right here. And that might seem odd. But there's actually a reason for that this cable is internally rooted and it comes out right here at the back which means that if i do at some point decide to you know put a dropper post on here i don't need to run any new outer cable i can actually just use this so that's the um the point but now everything has been stripped now it's time to put it all back together <clears throat> here is the 
finished product or finished so far there are still a few tweaks to uh, to be made but yeah 40 tooth rear 40 tooth front which gives me that uh, nice low gear and I think it looks absolutely amazing with the black and gold uh, I would have liked to paint that black as well but yeah didn't have the time didn't want to wait I think it looks amazing Am amazing amazing um, yeah absolutely love it very easy to do of course there's some you know adjustments to the rear derailleur but I think it looks super nice I'm really stoked about it, having dropped that that front neck so yeah a few tweaks still to be made I have amongst other things uh, I'm just gonna I have this little bat boy right here a top cap um, so I'm going to be installing a few gold thingies but yeah so far so good I'm gonna give it a, a test right now and then I'm going to yeah let you know when I come home so thanks for watching you guys and uh, see you later okay so now I've had my uh, first ride on this uh, on this beauty and uh, yeah, so far so good. I um, I quite like it. There are a few things that I've noticed uh, already, which is also the very reason why I do not love it yet. Um, one of the um, one of the things that I do not really like is this cassette. Um, it's very poorly made. I hope now that I have it torqued down a little better, but um, this small wheel right here, it, it, or the small sprocket, um, it seems to uh, to not really grip the, uh, you know, the, the, the grooves uh, are not deep enough, it's, it appears. But I hope now that I have it just a bit tighter, and I hope that will perhaps help out. A little bit so I hope that's the case if it's not the case that I'm going to go to an 1134 cassette a very cheap one that I can buy from Shimano and then I'm gonna see if I can find the Sunrays equivalent to to uh, this one because you know gearing wise I actually really like having the 40 tooth back here but I also really like having the 11 speed so or the 11 tooth here now uh, earlier I talked about wanting to not um, get rid of this little cable because my uh, my idea was that if I wanted to install a dropper post sorry I'm just going to have to do a little something now uh, so there you go um, if I wanted to install a dropper post then this little thing would be very helpful because it is internally rooted and comes out right here. However, very quickly I, you know, I ran into a small problem, which is this. It is connected through this little thing, thingy here. So, um, this won't fly. So I'm going to. Um, to remove the cable and then I'm going to hope that when I, if I want to install a dropper that will be quite easy and then I'm going to cut this as close to up here as I possibly can um, and see if that will work and then that is going to be how it is until I decide to change the the, the tape the bar tape but yeah for now I I'm positive in many respects I'm positive in many ways uh, there are a few things that I do not really like and there are also many things that I do really like I think the gearing is way better now for my purpose anyway um, yeah so but uh, yeah that's it for now so uh, thank you so much for watching um, it has been fun trying to do this it has been fun trying to to get this to work and then uh, yeah just have a few more tweaks to go and then I'm actually done and, and satisfied with with how it looks so my next project is 
is only small, small things. So, thanks for watching. Have a good night.